So everyone, this is Dumbass Live and welcome to Dumbass Live News. Now I decided to do something pretty special today. I'm going to be combining a bunch of hip hop stories in one video. So welcome to the channel. If you guys are new, make sure you guys subscribe. This is what I do and I do it daily. So the first bit of news I have for you guys is going to be about DJ Khaled, Future, and Jay-Z. Now, as you guys may or may not know, DJ Khaled has been hinting towards a music video featuring Future and Jay-Z for the past few days now. So there's finally some information on when that's going to be released. You guys watch this video. That's right. You see me with my dog, Future. We pulling up, making more hits, making Sunday, more Monday. Sunday, I got the keys video right after the BET Awards. I got the keys, keys, <laughs> keys. <laughs> so the music video is going to be released on the 26th after the BET Awards. And on the 28th is when DJ Khaled is going to release his album. Moving on to other news, we're going to be talking about YG. Now, you guys may not be aware of this song, but YG has a song that's called Fuck Donald Trump. Now, in that song... He said that the FBI contacted him and he had to change a few words of the song. And this is what he had to say. I knew that was going to come with some consequences. YG said referring to his Fuck Donald Trump song. The Secret Services hit up the label. We had to change up some words on songs just to get them on the album. They even stopped me from doing certain shows at certain places. The Fuck Donald Trump record caused a domino effect. And all types of things. You feel me? But it is what it is. You have to sacrifice out here in this world. I'm trying to leave my mark in this cement. So what he's saying is the fuck Donald Trump song caused a domino effect and caused the Secret Service to look into his music. They contacted the label and they're like, look, if you have any attacks, that's a reference towards Donald Trump. You may want to take that out of your album. I remember back in the day when Eminem was beefing with George Bush and the government ended up attacking him. Also, we had a situation even way back in the day when N.W.A. had an issue with Ronald Reagan. So, so yeah, there's always been rebels in hip hop that always go up against the government. So let's move on to some other news. Now, you guys may not know this guy, but his name is Little Uzi Vert. Now, he's one of these brand new rappers that have just burst onto the scene. And he has a girlfriend and her name is Brittany. Well, it seems that they have broken up. And a lot of people seem to be pretty sad over the situation. He tweeted out today, single and a heart. Also, he released some brand new music. And one of the songs seems to be about his girlfriend. So it seems that everyone is talking about the Gucci Man clone conspiracy. Now, even Drake is talking about this situation. Drake posted something on Instagram, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. Now, the reason I made this video a few days ago is because whenever I would go to Gucci Man's Instagram or even YouTube videos featuring Gucci Man. I would always see comments of people saying that he was a clone. So I'm like, look, I got to make this video. I got to talk about this. And the video did pretty good. It's going to be at a million views at some point. So, yeah, pretty happy about that video. So Drake had this to say on Instagram about Goo Wop. And this is what he said. That ain't no clone. Big Goo Wop home. So, so I guess you guys can take it from Drake. Drake says Goo Wop is not a clone. Now, in other news for Gucci Mane, he's going to be dropping an album next month, and that's going to be on July the 22nd. And he says on Instagram, this is what y'all have been asking for. Everybody looking. So I'm guessing that's going to be the name of the album. Everybody looking. Now, to be honest with you guys, you got to give Gucci Mane some respect. I mean, the guy has fully changed around his lifestyle. He's changed his mindset. He's even changed his body. The guy is looking good. And what I mean by that, he's looking healthy. He's not looking how he used to look. He doesn't look like he's tired and dried out on drugs. The guy looks like he's actually exercising, eating right, and living the right way. So I'm happy for him, man. Whatever it takes, get your life back in order. Hell, I'm even trying to. I've been eating grilled chicken and salads every day. Now, for some strange reason, everyone hates Tyga. It seems that as soon as he started to date Kylie, everyone started to hate Tyga, man. They just started to toss shit on his name. I remember the situation that he had where people were saying that he was dating a transvestite. It was getting crazy, man. So there's been many of reports like throughout the past few years that Kylie and Tyga broke up. 
And we would always see them separate. We would always see Kylie doing her own thing. And also, he would be doing his own thing as well, right? Well, for the past few weeks, Tyga has had another girl under his arm. Now, Kylie's been doing her own thing as well. We've seen her in many of pictures or party next door. We've even seen her in his music video. But it seems that Kylie and Tyga are now back together. And this is what Tyga had to say in his Instagram caption of Kylie. They always come back. Dot, 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 dot. So to be honest with you guys, if they are back together, I hope that he locks it down. Listen, man, you need to just go ahead and just like drop some kids off in her. I'm letting you know right now, man, you need to do it. You need to lock her down. You need to do it right now. Charlamagne the God once deemed Kylie Jenner to be the best high school prospect since LeBron James. You guys let me know in the comment section what you guys think about that. You know what's funny about this situation, man? It's hilarious how everyone bashed this dude, right? When she was 17, everyone bashed her. And as soon as she turned 18, all of that went away. I remember every day TMZ had a video about this. They were dragging that man's name through the mud, making all kinds of videos off of this dude, milking it for whatever it's worth. Then as soon as she turned 18, of course, they did a video on her birthday and all that kind of stuff. And it was over. Everyone stopped talking about it, but everyone trashed this guy because he was dating a girl that was 17, but as soon as she turned 18, they were okay with it. Now, what's even funnier about this situation is the fact that the guy was 24 and she was 17. Now, if you guys flip that around, right, and a guy is dating a woman that's 24 and he's 17, no one would have a problem with it, but... Because it's a girl. Everyone's like, oh my god, he's a pedophile. He's dating a girl that actually looks like a woman. Now, what's even funnier about this situation, Kylie Jenner at 17 looks more like a woman than half of the girls that are 19. Kylie Jenner at 17 has more of a woman body than Taylor Swift at 28. Now, the last bit of news I have for you guys is that it's been 20 years since Jay-Z debuted his first album, Reasonable Doubt. Now, this album was later considered a classic. A lot of people didn't consider this album a classic when it was first released, but years later, people started to revisit this album, and they came with a conclusion that it is a classic. So, 20 years since Jay-Z first entered the rap game and released his first album insane. Anyway, this is Thomas Live. You guys have a great day and I'm out.